Welcome everybody to Don Bluth's Dragon's Lair on the PlayStation 3. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that explains the 2010 thing. Oh, by the way, I realized I got my facts mixed up. Don Booth did do a Kickstarter, but it got cancelled and he shifted it to Indiegogo. Exactly. Well, that was for the Dragon's Lair movie, though, and this is the game we're doing. Okay, for those yep. who, okay, for those who don't know, Dragon's Lair was originally a 1980s game that was actually kind of revolutionary because it was the first game... To, oh, there you go. First, let's talk about how you play this game. To play Dragon's Lair, you'll need to, uh, to move at the correct time. In this scene, for example, Dirk will fall through the drawbridge. So basically, you can kind of see this game as the first ever game where you're, it's basically just QTEs. However, unlike stuff like, um, you know, Heavy Rain and stuff like that, uh, this one is more forgivable because it was a, a huge novelty at the time. Uh, this game broke a lot of grammar and it came still out. And it's still a novelty to this day, anyway. That reminds me, didn't it have these amazing graphics back then? Uh, what system was it on? It was actually on arcade cabinets, Jova. Yeah. It was only in arcades because at the time consoles weren't able to do the whole full motion video thing. Here's the trailer. That and the. Wow, yeah, this yeah. is amazing. 983, by the way. For those who don't know, Don Bluth is the former yeah. Disney animator who directed such famous animated movies like The Secret of Nim, Land Before Time, American Tale, and All Dogs Go to Heaven, and some other bad movies that he made in the 90s that I will not rather not mention. And he also did <laughs> Titan today. Yeah, I like, I like that one fine. Me too. I told I was going to heaven. So yeah, in classic 80s of, uh, games fashion, we're a knight trying to save a princess from a dragon. As oh, class. Nice. That is... Gotta say, though, it's pretty awesome how they actually managed to make what looks to be like a movie in an actual game. I mean, and for the time it was coming. Yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear. <laughs> Well, actually, Dark Star, well, that was that that game. That game has a lot of cinematic cutscenes, yes. But this was the first movie to literally incorporate anim, basically make a, a game look like an actual animated film. And honestly, it was even the first yeah. time something like QTs actually ever happened. Though. Yeah, yeah. It's weird, though. Oh yeah, they even have a visual mode and everything. That reminds me, though. I well, the visual mode is too. Well, the visual. Well, well it, apparently, it is. Well, it is short, uh, as long as, you, basically, if you skip out on any, any deaths that you have, if you know what you're doing, you can complete this game in a half hour. And yes, you actually have a score uh, board on the... Well, 80s, so... Yeah. Um, maybe I'm thinking of one of the sequels, then. Those were longer. Basically, as you can see right there in the bottom left corner, that's the, the thing for the prompts. Basically, I press up, down, left, or right, or X for the sword whenever it gives me the prompt. And if I do it at the right basically, time, uh, I, can, I, I get to see the next piece of animation. Yeah, basically, if you pick the wrong one, then of course you get a deaf animation, and well... Uh, yeah, so if you leave me, Jova, everything in this fucking castle was once Dirk dead. Yes. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, I remember. We haven't been here oh, very I know long, that. and everything wants you dead. The first, thing, <laughs> the first thing, of course, everybody will notice about this game, the animation is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. But then again, it's Don Bluth and Gary Oldman, so obviously that's expected. Don't you mean Gary I mean, Goldman? Gary Goldman, didn't you? Yeah, Gary, Gary Oldman. Oldman. Gary Goldman, that's it. Gary <laughs> Oldman's a different person entirely. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, so. I think you were right on a version of wine. Uh, basically, what? basically it, 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 the way the game works is basically more like a collection of mini scenes, so that's why they look kind of different with each other. That's because they had to create uh, each separate scene. Both in the case you succeed at and you continued, and both in the case you've actually died. Yeah, hey, you're gonna see, you're gonna see a lot of deaths in this playthrough. As you, uh, in fact, one, there's one coming right now. If you don't press it at, at the wrong time, there you go. Yeah. Yes, that yes, and every time you die, you get to see Dirk as a skeleton. Dirk as a skeleton, oh. because that's not going to hunt <laughs> kids' nightmare kids' nightmares at all, is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, see, um, here's the tough thing and again. about this game that's up with a lot of QTEs. Unlike QTEs of more modern age, the hints weren't always, shall we say, uh, well, shown to you. Isn't like, well, you kind of would have to do a lot more guesswork than you would do yeah. in your usual QTE. I mean, yeah, it's just that, a matter trust of me, that, one direction, tr but tr trust me, some tr of these... Oh, yeah, trust me, Shiroi. Um, the voice acting in this game is hilariously hammy. <laughs> they drove oh. dead, dead, dead. Ha! I got it this time. <laughs> anyway, um, for those who don't, okay. 
before, the, uh, back in the 80s and 90s, Dragon's Lair was uh, pretty much exclusive to arcade cabinets, but starting with the mid-2000s, Digital Leisure uh, got the rights to, dra to the Dragon's Lair games, um, and ever since then they've always been the ones developing and publishing it. Um, he, they've they've made the the original DVD release, which is basically you could literally play the game on your DVD player. However, the best way to play it is um, in a digital format because that way you don't have to worry about load times. Because if you try to play it on the DVD, the load times in between each scene will it's very immersion breaking. However, if you play it on the P the PS3 is probably the best place to to play it right now because you get to play it in 1080p, uh, like and, oh, uh, so, and, and, and and since the D pad on the on the Dual Shock is much better than the D pad on the 360s <laughs> controller. I think it is. So I'm basically, but, or of course you can. Well, actually, I think ah, the, didn't it also I receive? Also, that. I, it only means that will work too. Never mind. You can also. No, I just checked. Never mind. You can also buy it on, St on the, the HD version on yeah. Steam. Yeah, yeah. We're both uh, both this game and its sequel are on Steam. All, all a bit. Trust it, and sp is, is space is great for this sort of game. Is space is space is in it as well too. Yeah, it's it's all okay. it's there too. I think. Uh, let me check. Oh, sorry, Fates of Game Over. Don't worry, I've got Infinite continues. Well, thankfully he's playing the okay. arcade mode. Okay, you're probably so you're did. probably wondering why why this game is so difficult. Well, remember everybody, this was an arcade game in the '80s, so the game was made difficult specifically for so for the fact well, that, that that just speaks for itself. Right? Because they knew that kids would waste a lot of quarters just to see the, just to see if it could continue on and try to see the next piece of, of animation. Yeah. yeah. You have to remember, guys, back in the days, arcades were designed specifically just to eat up your quarters. So, consequentially, games were made uh, with artificial difficulties, and crowning achievements <laughs> were this uh, and uh, <laughs> Ghosts and Goblins. You know when, it, when, when it came to more or less stuff like, you know, fighting games, it was more fair because it was you against one of your friends, uh, so it was more like, you know, beating and beating shit out of each other. games in the 80s more difficult in general. Yeah. Like, there was this sort of mindset of... Yeah, in console it was... Basically, Shiro, with console it was like to prolong the longevity of the game itself, and with arcade it was just up to eat up, eat up your quarters. You know yeah. what this reminds me you know yeah. of? You know what this reminds me of? Go ahead. This reminds me of the opening title sequence for like the first four or five seasons of Nightmare. I wouldn't be surprised well, if Nightmare took inspiration from these visuals. The function is pretty much <laughs> the, the same. That said though, I will say one thing that was tough about arcade games of this caliber was using an analog instead of, you know, uh, a control panel for the quick times and doing them in the right direction. There's just something about Dirk's uh, death screams that always makes me laugh. I don't- I have no- I, I- like, he screams like a fucking- like a whiny bitch. I know, I should- I should be laughing, but I am. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Up! Does this game auto-save? Uh, no it doesn't, but don't worry, Dwebs. You have- you can pick infinite continue, so you can just keep going until you win. You can literally brute force your way for the game because thanks to the infinite game. Well, there are trophies here that in order to get trophies you need to play with uh, harder difficulties, but well, if you don't care about trophies, you're fine. If I recall correctly, Pedro, were the sequels also arcade games or were they yeah. Yes, yes, because they were. Well, remember, Jova, before, the, before DVDs came... <laughs> Well, remember, Jova, before DVDs came about, well, actually, there was also CDs. Before Optical Media came that. about, before Optical Media came about, it was impossible to put this game on, on in the home. You know what else oh, I know that, I know that. I know I know that page, I know that page. I'm asking as I go as if I go if maybe they ever had them on uh, some. Because, like, well, if I recall correctly, the sequels have actual, well, you know, more dialogue and an actual sense of yes, story they do. to them. In yes, they do. Scenes. Yes, they do. Sp Dragon's Lair 2 in specific is the most, is probably one of the most batshit insane games ever yeah. created. Yeah. Hey, gosh, you know what else this reminds me of? What? Yes. It reminds me of that Power... No, no, no. That Power Rangers Sega CD game. Trust me, the timing in that... The, the timing in this section is so fucking... Uh, uh, hard. Like, I know you, you have to be... So perfect with your timing here. Uh, 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 there you go, Jesus. <laughs> Main issue is that you don't know that you're supposed to mainly go from left to right instead of try going forward. Could you imagine, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, like John Tron, yeah. about this game. like John Tron said in his space Ace review, can you imagine being an '80s kid and you know where at a time every game looked like Pac-Man and stuff, and you go to an arcade can and you see this playing in the arcade, like yeah. can you, this was mind blowing to 
at uh, at the time. Obviously, it hasn't aged well, but I think it's still a nice little. Um, oh, it is. It's still well, mind say. blowing from these graphics. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say. I'd also say it did age well. Yes, 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 yes. Even taking the difficulty in this, Dan, because honestly, we're not exactly unfamiliar with games that are like. Well, ultra super hard. Well, and yeah, not to, not to mention Digital Leisure's re-releases of this game obviously give you infinite lives, so it, it, it eases the frustration a lot. You can just keep trying and trying as long many times as if you want. Anything, I'd say that this one actually managed to age with grace, if anything. I mean, obviously, yeah, the infinite lives helped, but hey, I mean, that's the best of both worlds. Yeah, maybe ultra super tough, but you don't... But you're not booted back to the very beginning each time, so you can practice, and then, if you want, try for a perfect run on your own, Liege. Mm hmm Basically, the best way I can sum this up in terms of what genre this game belongs in is that this is kind of a puzzle game in the sense that uh, the player is supposed to memorize the patterns and just uh, learn from rep- Basically, it's the trial and error game at its, at its, big, at its core, basically. Just keep trying until you memorize the, the pattern so you can succeed. Oh uh, yeah, I wonder if we should... Basically, every time I finish a floor, I have to go back to the elevator, and as I've just shown, the ele the timing for the elevator jump is... Ugh. It's, it's not too hard for me, but that's because, well, you know, sense of timing. Also, again, it's like, oh, can you have, I remember way younger when I played this, it's like I thought, shouldn't I be pressing up to jump? But I guess to be fair, that makes sense. The game can be obtained on the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, or the Wii as, a, as part of the Dragon Slayer trilogy, and of course on Steam. I recommend getting it on either Steam 360 or PS3 because those are the HD 1080p versions. I mean, if you're gonna play a game that's all about the animation, might as well be in 1080p. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair, I mean, considering what date this animation Save came me. from, it's well on any yeah. console. But yeah, by all means, <laughs> get the more complete versions. Kenny. Oh, hold on, hold on. Again, Shiroi, everything is trying to kill you here. Well, Shiroi, okay, let me it's remind. Okay. Kill you. Well, actually, I never explained the story. Basically, Shiroi and uh, 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 Daphne, who's our beloved, got kidnapped by the dragon, and we we're supposed to save her. And uh, this is the castle where the dragon and the wizard put all these traps to stop us from reaching Daphne. Before, I think we need to worry more about the castle than the dragon. Don't worry, she, the, oh, don't worry, oh, she, Roy. The, the, don't worry, she, Roy. The dragon is actually pretty hard. The dragon itself is quite a battle to behold. I should get the NES game just to see how bad it really is. Oh, oh god, god, the NES the NES version is so terrible. Don't get me wrong, this game is also terrible by modern standards. It's just that, uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Honestly, Pedro, this game is not terrible in my modern standards because they actually, you know, add evolve stuff from this game. I mean, again, it would be terrible if, like, well, you know, they made it so that you would, you know, be Budapest <laughs> each ending without a choice. But here you the have animations choice. Are hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. this game is this game is fine, honestly. Yeah, I'm I'm it's fine it. with it. The infinite lives make it. Uh, you just have to. Uh, I mean, if you're not good at at pressing the buttons uh, with it's good timing. An arcade game. An arcade game is an arcade game. Sure, 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 sure. Uh, what I mean, what I mean is that uh, younger gamers of today who uh, who didn't who are not as aware as we are might be incredibly turned off, obviously. But people like us who are aware of, of these games, of course, will will of course know about the time period that this game these games were made. So at the time, this game is basically a novelty uh, in terms of um, it's a very unique game because of the time period it was made. Well, to be fair, Pedro, um, it depends on if you're into the sort of genre of game play to begin with. Quick time events. Because, well, you know, I mean, honestly, okay, you have to know what you're getting into with this sort of game. It's like, uh, I wouldn't say that, like, well, we'll say one's enjoyment because it's a quick time thing doesn't necessarily decide the quality. No, it just oh, depends no. on their I love Walking Dead. Again, it's like, well, I mean, okay, if you're going to complain about a quick time event game, don't play a quick time event game. Now, okay, it makes sense if you're. Yeah, but, oh, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, if it's uh, really quick time what? events in a game that's otherwise not quick time events, by all means complain, but here you should know very well you're getting into a quick time event written game. Mm -hmm. I said they're really, really something. Mm -hmm. They're really something. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Oh, crap. <laughs> 
Dun, 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 okay, pressing dun, dun, up dun, dun, just how it gets to their hole. <laughs> ah, snakes! Why did it have to be snakes? Again, I love how pressing up is the way you duck underneath the swords. Yeah, in the original version of the ar arcade game, we didn't actually have though that arrow thing at the bottom left corner. Uh, in the original, no notice how a lot of the things flash. Um, really briefly. That was your info. That, that, was your, that was your hint as to where you're supposed to press. Uh, as you can probably guess, uh, it, 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 you have to be incredibly, incredibly attentive to what was going on. Fortunately, with the D-pad there on the bottom left corner, things are made a lot easier. Yeah. As long as I have that, I pretty much have not suffered any deaths because it's just a matter of knowing what. However, without that thing, oh boy. Sting you die. <laughs> God gives me pleasure. Not even this one. I'm kidding. Oh, that's how you're getting the death <laughs> animation. Yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. Fuck. Trust me, you guys. Trust me, if you guys played it, you would know the timing for that jump is. Ugh. Oh, all oh, right. I know. After like this is yeah. this is like what the third, fourth time we've seen it, and I believe you. <laughs> well, well, the thing. Is, oh yeah, this is the part where we're doing this, except mirrored. Basically, the thing about this game is that uh, obviously this is an entire game is done with hand-drawn animation. It can be really, it could, it would be really. Exp it, they kind of have to cut corners, and uh, a, there's a part of it where they reuse uh, certain ele certain rooms, except they flip the image. You know. Uh, it, it, yeah. let's Getting just say that like, well, the sequel, let's just say that, you know, because this was such a risky project back in the day, this one didn't exactly get that big a budget. Luckily, the sequels did, so there's less repetition in them. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I, I guys, you know um, one thing that I found out what? when I was researching Don Blue? Uh, uh, have you guys ever heard of a band called the Scissor Sisters? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he, he did, he did the music, a music video for them, yeah, I'm aware. For, for Mary, yeah. He also did another. In fact, there was another. He made two music videos for two specific bands, if I remember correctly. A song of theirs actually sung in Doctor Who, and um, it, it was. The lyrics were changed very heavily. Yeah. <laughs> because the original version of that song is quite something. And our and balls! Quite something. Is that a special stage from Sonic 2? Maybe. <laughs> quite possibly, yes. Another thing that Sonic what do you has mean lovingly by something, Shiroi? Surprisingly, uh, all you have to do in this uh, part is press down uh, over and over. Right so it's not... Uh, I mean, okay. when, when you first see those balls, you'd think it would be a really hard section, but no, all you have to do is keep pressing down over and over. Ow. <laughs> wow, anything can kill you in this game. Yeah, yeah. it's like Australia. Except it's, at least it's not as bullshit as the Tintin game. One thing I will say, guys, I've never played the Tintin game, so I'm not sure I understand. Oh, you should have, you should have been here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, oh. go ahead, Chris. What is it? Because, well, one thing I will say, never in all my life would I have ever associated Don Bluth with you know, music videos, let alone the Scissor Sisters. <laughs> they, they were fans of, they were fans of their movies, so they really wanted them to animate uh, the music video. They wanted to make it animated. Okay. All right, we got the gold from the Wizard King. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, this, oh, this, this, is, this is like nightmare: floating, floating swords and axes that can kill you. Dun, dun, dun. Gotta commend Durek on his immense courage and stamina. Yeah. I, 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 well, uh, to, the, 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 you're probably, uh, much like in every game we have to say, the princess, you're probably wondering, is this bitch who I've never even met worth all this aggravation? Well, she, well, when you, I'll let you guys be the judge of that when we meet her. Yeah. Well, I will say that <laughs> is. Let's just say she's a bit more respectful than Peach. Shh. Mm, I don't know, I, 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 don't, I, I don't know about that. I mean, you know, uh, with, you know, with, with Peach, she makes you cake. I, well, we haven't. Well, seen well, cake, Daphne kisses. Well, <laughs> well, da well, Daphne kisses her. So there's that. But mm -hmm. cake. <laughs> true. True. Yeah. Wait, hold on, hold on. If I recall correctly, though, doesn't Dirk get laid eventually? 
He does, yes. In Dragon Ghost, in Dragon's Lair two, yes. Um, uh, like a shit ton of kids. Yeah, and 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 the first yeah. thing that happens in Dragon's Lair two is your mother-in-law is trying to kill you. I'm not even. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> So see guys, so see guys, Mrs. Daphne is oh, very no, thankful. Again. There you see, go. She is Derek the uh, proper reward. Uh, couldn't you reuse uh, an easier section? I don't mind if you reuse no, sections because, you know, no, cutting cords. It's going to be that easy. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I mean, I wouldn't mind them reusing sessions. I just don't want them to reuse this one because this one is really hard at the end. <laughs> Well, just follow the arrow prompts and you should be good. No, that's but, a, but it, 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 it's not so much the arrow prompts, it's the timing of it. It's You have to be so f fast with the last uh, prompt. I mean, because yeah, remember, oh, yeah, actually, 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 that's actually a good thing, I never actually explained this. Yeah. You cannot just mash the buttons, by the way, because you have to press at the exact time. Oh, there we go. Here we go. <laughs> the final battle. And but whatever. basically, you can. What a battle it was! Oh, there's Daphne. There's <laughs> Daphne. All right, so Daphne is about to explain to us what we have to do. All right. Oh. Use the force. Oh shit. Oh. <laughs> mm. Oh fuck. <laughs> Sure. With the key, the dragon keeps it around his neck. To slay the dragon, use the magic sword. Yes, <laughs> that magic sword, uh, not the other one that's uh, down there. Here's an here's a know all this. Here's a little bit of interesting trivia for you guys. Uh, they actually based uh, Daphne's body on a Playboy uh, cover star. I'm not even uh kidding. You think you, yeah. you would have noticed? You would have noticed that. Yeah, kind of obvious, you know, especially with how she's yeah based off of Daphne, probably Daphne Rosen. Mm hmm. So, what do you think, Shiro? Do you think she's worth all this trouble? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, what I was about to say was, uh, another thing about this game's prompts is you cannot just mash the buttons, even if you know what what the prompt that's about to show up, because you have to oh, only no. press. You can only press it at the right time. You can press it not a second before and not a second after. You have to only press it when it tells you to press, because otherwise it will just count as a a fail. Go ahead, Shira. What is it? To be fair, she's actually told us what we need to do. I'm like Peach, who kind of just stands there and just shouts at you. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, Pager, you are going to do Dragon Slayer Escape from Sinjish Castle before Time Warp, right? Uh, I, I don't have that game. I only have uh, the, the original three games. Uh, this one, Space Ace, and Dragon Slayer 2 Time Warp. Alright, alright, I guess I'll handle Escape from Sinjish Castle then, since continuity-wise... I only have the actual three uh, ones uh, with animation. No. I know, I know. I'll handle Escape from Sinsis Castle since it's chronologically. Hey guys, I have, I've, got a, I've got a question. Go ahead. You know that, um, you know, ever since his, you know, the Dragon Quest Lair Indiegogo thing was a success. Mm, Dragon's Lair. Uh, and, yeah, directly the Dragon's Lair film. I'm just wondering, how is that going to be released? Is it going to be like a video on demand thing or a Netflix one? Uh, well, the Blue, DVD, Blue, Thing, Blue Thing Goldman did say that they wanted it to be a theatrical release. Uh, we just have to wait and see okay, if they achieve yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that would explain why they had to get it funded, of course. I admire their, I admire their ambition, but, um... I know, do you worry a lot? All they, all, uh, by the way, what well, the pro that also depends by the, the time we actually want to, you know, release it. If it's like in the yeah. middle of the summer where there, there's very competition at all, that's fine. That reminds me, Pedro, you're gonna tell the audience about the middle button you sometimes have to press? Uh, you mean the sword button? Well, every time it does it, you just press X to use the sword. You press what now? The X for the sword. Wait. Yeah. Remember, I'm playing. The, remember, remember, I'm playing the PS. How is shit breathing? Remember, I'm playing the PS3 version, uh, so there's an X button. Uh, Dark Star. Oh, I know that, Pedro. I was just saying, you know, make sure to address it. Well, I think I did say it at the beginning. 
Mm -mm. Nope. But you did now. Complete with golden singing light! So, I'm guessing you do it this time? Uh, let me see. I think I do, yeah, I do. Alright. Trust me, it's uh, harder than it looks. <laughs> no, I, I can well, tell Well, this is it. the final boss, technically, so... I didn't bother. Uh, 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 since the deaths are really hilarious anyway, and since this is this is yeah, already by all, all means, leave them in. This is only twenty six minutes anyway, so if I removed all the yeah. deaths, if I removed all the deaths, this would be like eight minutes long anyway. So, well, mm -hmm. this is still shorter than most of our LP parts. So, there we, there go. we go. And this is typical. Hey. Kill them, the kill heart. it, Maleficent style. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now, Val, Mario, that's the kind of cake you're looking for. Save me. <laughs> oh, but remember, Mario is, is intended for small children. Oh, well. So, you can always do it off screen. So, that was Dragon's Lair. Obviously, it's a product of its time. But there's still a lot of uh, appeal to it because there's there's no game out there like this we're quite like really uh, and it's uh it's no. uh, and considering you get the ability to play with infinite continues it's fun I think it's worth playing at least once uh, and that's about it, the animation looks gorgeous and it's really funny to see Dirk die because his voice acting is so hammy. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's a it's a nice little um, treasure from the past. Obviously, it's not it's not a masterpiece, especially considering it definitely shows its age. But I still uh, think objection. it's objection animation wise. It is a masterpiece. I'm talking I'm talking about it in terms of the gameplay, but sure. You know, it's the end <laughs> game. Okay, so. Anyway, well, yeah, that this game isn't really for me, but everything about it is just really quirky and interesting. <laughs> sure. Absolutely. All yeah, right, go ahead, it's, Tail. It's, it's, it seems alright. It seems alright. All right, go ahead, Tail. I can appreciate it for that. Um, yeah, no, I, I mean, uh, again, it was revolutionary for the time, groundbreaking both the genre and uh, the idea behind it. It was actually really novelty also for Ruth himself, since he dedicated himself so much on pretty much only movies up until that point. Um, I actually don't know the story on how he was convinced to do this, uh, you know, why he got convinced to do actual animation. Uh, Bills, remember, remember, too. At the time, uh, there were at the time he wasn't ex he he wasn't partnered with Steven Spielberg, so he didn't he wasn't famous yet. So he he had to kind of take a job whatever he could get. But still, the end result was uh, you know really enjoyable. Uh, you some may call it dated, some say it just you know was like a doom uh, prophet about the whole QTs uh, uh, apocalypse that people are telling it's plaguing us on this day, even though it's debatable. Uh, but I still find it uh, enjoyable like, that you can pick up uh, anytime you want. Mm -hmm. I so, so, play it with one hand if you wanted to. True. Uh, yeah, so, Darkstar, what did you think of the game? It, well, I'm surprised how well the they were able to get that much hand-drawn animation into a game at the time. <laughs> it yeah. used, uh, a laser disc. Used, uh, yeah, it used a laser disc. So even for arcade machines, it was revolutionary. Uh, keep going, Dark but the, I think this is much, much better than a lot of the Sega CD games. Yeah, definitely. Well, this was definitely the predecessor to most of the Sega CD's games, so... I mean, there's a there's a time there's a game on the Sega CD called Time Gal, which is pretty much a Dragon's Lair clone. Yeah, I function the same way. Alright, any, right. anything else to say, Darkstar? Nope, other than it was straight up amazing, visually speaking. Go ahead, Jova. Yeah, it's a great game. It, I'd say the only way it's really aged is, you know, with... Oh, uh, well, I guess maybe the diff... Okay, 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 okay. Admittedly, though, without that, um, uh... And without that, uh, directional button cue down there, this would be a bit arbitrary, but hey, they give you that. I'd, I'd say this would have aged, uh, quite notably, except for the fact that they actually do go out of their way to give updates that do make the game fair to play. Well, not necessarily fair to play, but more tolerable to play. So, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, a lot of things are quick and all, but you'll eventually get it. I mean, and it's not like you get booted back. I mean, you can literally choose to just literally go from where you started. So, with enough time and practice, you'll go through. And hey, the deaf animations are funny. The animation is glorious. 
And yeah, I do like how the story goes here. Well, okay. When I say story, I mean the overall lore, of course. Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah, yeah. This first game didn't have much story, but overall, it's a very nice fun romp and a great start to a good game series. All right. So that was Dragon's Lair, everybody. Uh, uh, I already said it, you thought it was all right. Um, anyway, everybody, so that was Dragon's Lair. Stay tuned for Space Ace. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Space yeah. Ace? Well, Space Ace came after Dragon's Lair, and only, and only after that, Dragon's Lair 2 came out, so... See everybody. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess that'll give me time to handle Dragon's Lair Escape from Sinza's Castle. See everybody. Right. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya.